Okay, so we got the numbers today. All right, let's run it all three, on all three for sure. Sounds good. Let's see if we got the numbers. Uh -oh. What do we got? So real quick, I want to talk about something. So we talked in our last video that went up recently for us, for us, it was yesterday, but for you guys, it's been a while, okay, a yeah. week, I don't know, whatever it's been. Uh, we talked about some of the comments we got about us claiming this car was fast and all that nonsense. Let's go over a couple things real quick. It's because it's nonsense. We've never said it was fast. We said it was faster than it was stopped, faster period. Than our car. That's yeah. it. No more. And it, and seat of the pants, uh, yeah. Today I could feel the difference, I promise you. So, here's a couple things. See that? That's a catalytic converter. See that? That's a stock muffler. See those in there? <laughs> you can't see them. They're stock injectors. Uh, see the fuel in the tank right here? Let me show you. Here's the tank. It's 91. Uh, the fuel pump, not stock. It's an 18 fuel pump. Uh, let's see what else. Charge tube, we have one charge tube. And a blow up valve. Adapt That's it. Oh, and clutch. We have oh, clutching. Yeah. KMS clutching. KMS That's clutching. it. Other than that, it's stock. When I said a while back it was stock, somebody called me, oh, it's not stock if it has clutch. Of course it's. We got a little bit more out of the clutch, right? We did. That doesn't make horsepower. It helps you utilize the horsepower you have. Clutch, clutches, they don't make they don't make it. Just help you use it. Right. And so we, yeah. So check out this video right now. Here's the numbers. Here's what it looks like. And then we'll be back. Yeah. All right, so yeah, the well, it was yesterday for us. I don't know what it's going to be in the video. Look, the last video up, probably most likely, uh, where we tried to do some zero to sixties in the car, uh, and, and, and the like. You haven't seen that yet. I'll show no, you. No, I haven't seen it. Yeah, so I didn't like it. Um, well, I don't think it had anything to do with the zero to sixties. It just didn't want to run. Um, so what we're going to look at is my phone ringing right now, but we'll be right back. Okay, so we're gonna try this again. So basically what we're doing right now is we're gonna try to get the car running. Uh, like I was saying a minute ago, we tried to do some zero to 60s our time yesterday, your time, I don't know, next video, something like that, who knows. We got Rob with us today. Um, we are going to go get some spark plugs and hope that that fixes the problem. Uh, basically we drop the cylinder, every time we get on the throttle, uh, it drops down to two cylinders. We did one run, if you go back and look at the video, I'll put a link down here, or you can go look for it, one of the two. Um, it seemed to launch good, it seemed to run at least okay. The time wasn't very fast, but it was on a stock tune as well. Um, and I think some of the specs I see show a stock, stock tune should run a 4.9. We ran a 4.7, I'm sorry, 5.7 something like that so it probably wasn't running the best uh, we were on big horns uh, you know who knows what that four nine number really means anyway that's what happened today we're gonna fix the car oh, nice. We're hoping it's plugs. We're gonna go get some plugs. We're gonna go get a feeler gauge so we can gap them properly. Um, I know the tuners all call for, I think it's 20 thousandths once you've tuned a car. Um, we've never touched them. We've never uh, gapped them. We've never replaced them. We also wanna look at the little connector that goes to the injectors and see if maybe that's loose. I know that's also an issue on these cars. So what do you think, Rob? Yeah, that sounds good. We'll give it a shot, see what happens. And then if all that works out well, we already have the flatbed. I just disconnected it. Well, me and Rob will throw that thing on a uh, flatbed, and we have a secret private location that's, uh, you know, we have a, a, a filming permit, so it's all blocked off and secure. And we'll go out there and we'll do, and we'll do some zero to 60s. Sounds good. We'll do uh, stock compared to, uh, um, stock compared to KMS power package stock compared to 91 octane power package and preps for the new turbo that's coming we'll be back okay so we made it to Clausen. check out all this cool stuff uh i does from what i understand the sales floor is not open i don't know do you know that i don't know they should be but service appears to be open so we're gonna see if we can just stroll on through this back door right here to go to service 
and get some spark plugs. In the meantime, let's go check out some of these razors. Look at that. I like that new razor. I like it. I'd like to get one and put a, a long travel on it. So we'll be right back. Check out these razors. So I still, I still say with the right, with the right, with the right cage, with the right cage and the long travel. Have, did you see side by side blog where they put the HCR long travel on? No, I didn't. On a four seater. Yeah, these things run good. I mean, they look like they run hard. So hopefully we'll check out one soon. We'll be back. Okay, Rob, what do you think? Yeah, just waiting in line, like everybody else. So here's what's going down oh, here. Six, six feet apart. Okay. Here's what's going We're down here. Yeah. Yeah. So don't give me a hard time because I'm wearing a face mask. We're abiding by the... We're abiding by the rules of this of this establishment. They have a sign on the door, so we're trying to abide. We'll be back. We gotta buy this stuff right here. We'll pay for it. Spark plugs, gap, and this thing, because I don't have a face mask. I don't own one. We'll be back. All right. Well, here we are in Clausen's. We're getting some spark plugs. Hey. The. Kawasaki KRX 1000. Yeah, I put one on ad today for 14.99 plus fees. For well, how long is that going to be on sale? Till I sell it. Oh, what? Yep. Uh, let's go take a look. It's right there in the middle. 14.995 plus fees. All right. For a brand new KRX 1000. 14.99 plus fees. And fees, but tax and freight assembly sales tax. Freight assembly sales tax. Yeah. Look at that. 14.99 plus fees. 31 inch tires on it, bead locks from the factory. So, are there different models of these? Uh, no, they, they make this model just like this. Oh, oh one model. Yep. Okay. All Fox rocks from the factory and everything. This is a low gear crawling son of a gun. Let's yep. get a good top end. I hear that. I want to do. I want to get one and put a turbo on it. This, this is the biggest thing to me, the way they've got the trailing arms back here. Yeah. They're all double sheer. They're yeah. captured on both sides instead yeah. of just being bolted to the back of the rig. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, now they're finding it. Yes, Joseph. Good looking car. All right, 1499. 1499 plus fees. 1499 plus fees. Clawson Motorsports, Fresno, California. Check it out. Hear that? 14.99. That's fees. You should buy it. Just you know. For, for another one? Yeah. You know. <laughs> we'll put a turbo on it. I got a turbo at home. It won't bolt right on there. <laughs> we'll be back. Okay, so we made it back from Clausen's. Got to take off our face mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can well, breathe now. Yeah, I couldn't breathe that thing. I was sweating. My neck was sweating. I don't have a face mask. Uh, there, I, where do you even get one? That's the problem. Anyway, I didn't have a face mask, mask, so I bought one of those dust. It was super thick. My neck was, yeah. Anyway, enough of the complaining. So we got what we needed, I hope, right here. We're going to gap these to 20. And we're going to throw them in. And we're going to see what we get. Uh, we'll be back in a minute. We'll show you that. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna do this thing finally. <laughs> uh, Rob's gonna hold this if he doesn't yep, mind. Not a problem. And we're gonna yank this guy out. What do you think, Rob? Let's do it. Let's do it. Have a mess from the last project. Well, I cleaned my shop, and about a week later, it looks like I haven't touched it. I don't know how it gets so messy. It take long, does it? No. Let's find the right socket under here. I gotta get these bolts out. And of course, it's the one socket that's missing. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pull this guy off. We'll pull this box off real quick. Okay. Uh, so we can get to the intercooler. I would just 
way of doing this. I think, well, this is how it goes. I'm that lazy <laughs> now. Funny. I know this is a kind of a cheap fix, but it's been a really good one. Just had, I just had someone comment on this video we did on this the other day that he had just ordered his. Man, how much stuff you got in here? Oh, yeah. oh my God. a little extra tools wow. and parts. All right, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna run the zero to 60 without that box on here. Yeah. Um, I think that's only fair because I have a feeling that other people aren't running all. No, I, I don't run. We got pompers and radios and right, and we got me in there. So, all right, we'll come back in a minute. We're okay, gonna, round two. All right, so what we're gonna do here? Rob's gonna assist us today. We're gonna pull all this stuff off. Really, we're just gonna lighten the car up and run it that way. What do you think? There you go. Pull everything off. We're gonna yank this. We've never had. We've never torn this car. We've torn into you know several other cars. We haven't torn into this car. This car's got some bark. <laughs> Little. Uh, let's figure out what size. What size do you think that is, Rob? Ten. Of course. All right. So ten. Ten it is. And I know we have some on the front. We're gonna pop these off since we're right here. So really, I mean, basically what we're doing is like I said, there's a video up, probably the last one. For us it was yesterday. For you it was a week, whatever it's been. Uh, we tried to run some zero to sixties and it was a fail. We ended up running on two cylinders for some reason. Um, I think it's spark plugs, possibly. We're gonna put some in it and see what happens. We'll have to run it up and down the street. If that works out, we're gonna go to the super secret location and run some zero to 60s. Right now, we're gonna get this out. Look, I'm gonna bring that over here. Keep going. All right, so the car is loaded up with all kinds of junk. Uh, I'm gonna pull these hoses off. pull this cover off so on our car we have if not if you can see this down here on our car we have the controller for the pumper mounted to this I forgot it was even there so we're gonna just kind of lay that down out of the way and actually unplugs we can unplug it yeah maybe we will let's unplug it just so we don't break a wire all right look at the turbo it's still there that's good news all right, so we need to get to these bolts up in here. There's a 10 right there and a 10 right there. What do you think, Rob? Looking good. I wish they would have made these cars a little easier to get to, like the oil cap and oil fill. Right. But it is what it is. Yeah, so we're gonna pull these bolts out and then the fun part is gonna be pulling out the, pulling out, hold on. We'll be right back. All right. We got, we got stuff everywhere in this car. I don't know what's going on. Looks like you've been in the woods. That's actually mostly, mostly from my front yard. Oh. <laughs> so we're going to see if we can get up here. Put some power tools to this one. I don't know if we can. I took off the... An extension? You can get to this one here, no problem. Yeah, let's pull that one. Let's show the extension. We won. We got it. Now we need a longer extension. Get to this one. Oh, well, maybe not. All right. There you go. All right. That's the bolts to the intercooler. To the intercooler. Okay. So we have this long monstrosity. Look at this. This is going to reach 
I, I, I don't want to get in. I don't want to like, get in there with the business. I want to work from out here, right? Yep. So, people give me a hard time for using extensions when I shouldn't, they say. <laughs> I say... You got to get to them. I say I want to work from out here. Get her pliers to pull that off. Here. Seven. We're going to see if that guy fits. Okay. That fits. Off. That is the way to do it. Look at that. Drop your so helper. Now we gotta find where the other uh, post lamp is over here. So we're gonna use that light. Do we see oh, it? Oh, yeah, it's right here. Right, straight in the back. Oh, yeah, right there where the. Uh, where the um... Nope, you're not on it. That's a different size. That's like a 516. Okay, so we got the wrong size. We got to switch up to a different size here. Think that's right one, Rob? We're hoping. All right, I'm just gonna yank this thing off. Oh. Uh, blue charge tube, I think. Is it going on there? Oh yeah. I just took it all the way off. Oh, we'll figure that out in a minute. <laughs> right now we're gonna pull this we're gonna pull this intercooler out. We're gonna do that for a minute and then we're gonna turn on the wa the water cooler because it's hot. Get warm in here. It's hard man. <laughs> California. And this garage faces west. If you look we're gonna get up here and we're gonna pull this thing off. Somewhere there's gonna be some wires. I guess I could pull the hoses off. Ah, hoses are off. All right, here we go. We're getting to the goods. Ah, I got that. That is zip tied. We're gonna have to grab some cutters. What do you think, Rob? Yep, that'll. Yeah, zip ties will pull the. Actually, you probably don't even, yeah. You can reach over and grab, yeah, that'd be easier. All right. Was that already unplugged? No, you unplugged it. Did I? Mm-hmm. I'm amazing. So <laughs> yeah, you right. unplugged it. Yeah. <laughs> All Let's, right, here we go. Screen okay, blank. we're going to take a break for a minute, turn that water cooler on. But we did get to the goods. Here's the goods down here. Look at this. Um, we'll be right back. Okay, so we gathered a couple tools, long extension, Torx for the coil, for the coil unplug coils. Uh, right now we're going to finish pulling this charge tube off out of the way because it's right in the way. Pull that off. That'll give us a chance to put this clamp back together. Rob got crazy on it. Yep. <laughs> we pull off this. Uh oh, uh oh. What is this? What is this? Oh, it's been rubbing. Oh, it's melted. A little bit melted. Is that melted? That's no, just rubbing. Just rubbing? Okay. Yep. A little bit. All right. Set that aside. We'll get that all lined back up the way it should go. All right, now we're gonna take a look at these plugs. Let's um, let's uh, disconnect them first. Wow, which way did those go? Should be pushing down. They are no joke. Oh, there we go. Can't get my hand in there, it's part of the problem. Alright, we're gonna pull those ground cables off real quick. Alright, we're gonna pop these ground straps loose on each one of these.
Wow, we're gonna have to pull. Looks like we have to pull. Are we gonna be able to get to this? I hate to loosen that one up to. Wow, which one is that? Oh, maybe. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. There we go. All right, that pulls that whole wiring harness back out of the way. And this end. Okay. It's hot in here. We got the coils out. Um, we'll show you the pugs in a minute. I hope they look like crap. <laughs> yep. We'll be back. Okay. Uh-oh. We got to turn off the water cooler. This sucks because it's hot in here. Yeah. It's miserable. That, that work quick. You get a fan to put out there. Maybe get some hot, yeah. hot air blown in. It heats up so quick. All right, so here's where we're at. We found the socket we need to get the spark plugs out. All right, Rob's got this charge tube. All, all He's got the... Um, Ready to prep to go back in. He's got to prep to go back in the, the clamps and whatnot. And we go. we're going to pop these spark plugs this right now. I'm hoping that we see a smoking gun right here. We'll find out. We gotta get some gum. We gotta get something put in the socket. I'll be right back. Back on. We're gonna do it with these. I'm hoping. I'm hoping we see a smoking gun right here. Let's see. Oh, that's white. Oh, that's it's gone. Look at that gap. Holy crap! Am I seeing that wrong? Oh no, it's a little point. I can't tell. No Looks. Well, it's a little, right? Yeah. Well, we'll go compare them in a minute. And here's that light goop that causes a problem. Yep. That was, I don't know which cylinder's which, but we're missing on cylinder one. And I don't know which one's one, we can look it up. Here we go. So this one was this end. Not that it really matters, but just to get an idea. That end. And the middle. All right, we'll be right back. We'll, we'll show you a close-up of these in a minute. Okay, so real quick, Danny's here. What's going on, man? What's going on? He finally woke up. Yeah, it was a little late. Just, time, just in time to go. He's still hungover. Is it late or early if you stay till 3.30? He's still hungover. So um, he's here just in time to go do the zeros and zero to sixties, assuming that putting these spark plugs in does the tricks. Uh, here's what they look like. I'm not gonna lie, I can't see these without my glasses and it's not because I'm old. It's because my eyes are, um, they can't see without glasses. So the recommended gap setting for cars that are tuned like Evo and whatnot recommends twenty thousandths. Let's see what we were at. We are way, way more. But again, when it started missing, we were on a stock tune, so I don't know how that plays, but we'll take a look. Just, just out of curiosity. Plus, somebody out there that knows way more about this than I do, maybe they'll have some input. We'll probably have it fixed by then, but that's okay. Who knows? Or maybe we won't. Let's see. I'm gonna say these are um, close to 30. Twenty-eight uh, struggles to go in. Twenty-six. I'm sorry. Twenty. Yeah. Twenty-six. No problem. Actually, twenty-eight. No problem. I have it. Thirty. No problem. Ooh. Okay, these are about 32. The OEM spark plug, I don't know where they started, but the current gap is 30, 32. That one's, that one's more like 28, you know, 30. And that one's also about 28. All right, so the stock plugs, I don't know where they start, I don't know what the stock gap is, but they are all about 30, 28 to 30. So we're gonna set those aside. 
and we're gonna get the new ones to we're gonna get the new ones to um, 20 put them in and see what it does what do you think Danny Huh? That's where they're at now. Uh, two recommended is 20 when you're tuned. So we are going to adjust these to 20. All right? All right, Rob? Yep. I went a little crazy. <laughs> Don't take much. Damn. Hold on. I went. I went a little too hard. I'm gonna say that's twenty. All right. Yep. Alright, we'll do the next one. We might even have to throw a new belt on there, I mean, see what happens. Alright, let's go put these things in and see what we got. Okay. Now what did you say? Was less than, how, how often do you change belts? Every time we break one. You broke one? I broke a bunch. Well, did you break one since you replaced the last one? It's almost new. Well, no. Otherwise, I would have changed it. Well, then you said you might have to change your belt. Make up your mind. I never change them until I break them, but we're trying to get speed. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. What if the belt's breaking? Yeah, Danny's got a fast car, but he won't bring it out. All right, Rob's going to bring his out eventually. Did you get that picture of my front end still apart? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> He's got a little problem. Did you see his front end? Yeah. Yeah. It's broken. Okay. All right. Put that back. <laughs> All right. We're going to put these spark plugs in. And I'm so hungry. Danny's not awake yet. What do you think, Rob? Danny's always hungry. I'm awake. All right. It's a little warm. Mr. Mello is always awake. All right. He was born awake. Yep. <laughs> Never <All right>. sleep. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let's go easy. I'm gonna go easy, but I gotta. Use an impact. Need a bigger one. I have. Yeah. Did you bring your big one over? Oh, there yeah. we go. <laughs> Did I leave it here? Like I'm gonna tell you. I bet you somebody gives me a hard time for using power tools on spark plugs. Well, and you not, should. As long as you don't drive it down, you're fine. Yeah. You shouldn't. But Alright, we're going to put the rest of these plugs in. We'll come back. We got to turn the water cooler on because someone's not going to make it. Still no luck. Uh oh, wait a second. I might have something. Oh. Oh, we found her. Oh. She's hiding in the corner. No She's on the bottom of the pan here in the very corner. Where? Right there. Really? That's why I just dug so that piece of belt up. If we drill a big hole, I think we can get to it. <laughs> <laughs> Need a magnet? Or got a magnet? It's stainless steel. You know what else we could do? We could cut the frame right here. Yeah. And then cut it over there. Now drop the frame. Let's take the, we need to pull the axles off and we can get to it. There you go. Oh, flip the car upside down, shake it. I'm good. At, well, I was good Long at doing nose, that. Long needle? Needle nose? I do. Hold on. Long it, long it. Rob's a finder too. Here, Randy, we'll let you get it since you lost it. <laughs> Randy's the master finder, but Rob just stepped up his game. Like this is like operation. Operation. Yeah, see, it won't stick to it. Good, then you'll have to see what I did up here. Did you just put that in your mouth? Yeah. Safety. So well, I need three hands here. All right, here we go. What are we doing? We're going right. Like that, you stood straight up too. Oh, here, get right here. Take your light. Here? Oh, fuck. Yeah, I mean, okay. shoot. 
Beep. On it. I see it. Here we go. I got it. I think I got it. I kid you not, that's exactly where I just pulled that belt out of. That dun, chunk dun, of belt. Dun, dun, dun. Man. The belt was it. Here, we, we push that button because Rob's cooties are on it. <laughs> you guys don't even, you don't even know what that took. Three hours later. Three yeah, hours later. It'd be nice if you used a bolt tray. Just saying. Yeah, I would, I'd be nice if I knew where it was at. I had two of them. One belongs to you. You took it back like a... Cause it's yours. But stainless steel. But I donate. I, I donated that to the cause, but I accidentally took it back and haven't brought it back. And I have one okay, that greedy. we were using uh, to put a cage on. Hmm. I probably. I gotta clean this garage. Yes, you do. All right. All right. Okay. We're gonna... <laughs> hey. Hang on. We're Guess gonna put the same back in park. Guess what? How far are we going back up? That's good. She rolls. Don't stand on it unless it's in park. Yeah. <laughs> unless you can move your feet really quick, because that's what <laughs> I had to do. Right. Logger impression? Hey, great. Right. There we go. It looks. Put everything in the truck. Yeah, yeah, bring, handle? bring it, bring it. That'd be awesome because I'm going to lose these. It's a little late. It's a little late now. Never, Never too late. late. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm going to put this phone maybe in my pocket. That would be a bad deal. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put this together and we're going to come back because it's hot. We've been looking for a bolt. We every time we turn on the camera, we turn off the water cooler. Oh. You like that? Yeah. You like it with the water cooler off? No. <laughs> Alright, we'll be back. Skip. Alright, what do you think? What do you guys think? What do you think, Danny? What's Danny think? I think we are ready to put this back in. Here, take a look in here, Rob. So what we did is we put we just put the charge two back on. Tied it all down, put the vacuum line back on, coils are back in place, the plugs, the new plugs are in. Now we just gotta drop, we're gonna drop this intercooler in. We're not gonna bolt it up yet because we're gonna fire this thing up and see if it uh see if it runs on all 17 cylinders. So plug the cable back in first. Yep. Easy. Don't do that. <laughs> Careful. Just make sure we <laughs> broke my legs. Put the intercooler and everything back on the tubes. All right, so we're gonna drop this down. Just little clamps. Our clamps already started here. Yes. I'm just gonna pull that back up. We can get to it. Pull this one back up. Where we can get to it, maybe. Let's see. Wrong size. Gotta go back to the seven million inches. That's it. So we need a seven millimeter. Oh my God. All right, we're gonna clamp, we're gonna put this a little bit tighter just so we have to chase it around. All right. Spin that around like that, we're gonna get to it. All right, Danny? Right. This is the only actual mechanic here. Right? No. I never claimed to be one. You're the only guy here that works on vehicles for a living. And factory. Exactly. That's factory. That's how we get factory specs right there. If you say it three times, spin around, touch your nose. Factory. Only for us, though. So don't do that if it's you. Because we've been granted special immunity <laughs> under the United States Constitution of Rules and Regulations. <laughs> It's a horse motor. Wow. Thanks to that one. Am I high enough with the clamp? Uh, your hand's in the way. Yeah, you, right there, right there. Perfect. Perfect. Tighter down. Pull that over it. There's a chip. We need 47 extensions on this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See? <laughs> Complaining about the extensions. And he doesn't like it if you overuse the extension. You're not the only one. We had someone complain on the channels, yeah. Well, how would you do that without an extension? I'm um, probably not about this particular situation. You know. Long screwdriver? Just in general. Um, let's see the right socket. Oh, yeah, this is a different clamp. Where it touches 
Yeah, five sixteen. Yeah, eight. Yeah. That's tight, right? Yep. I, right. Did, I didn't hear it. Uh, factory. There we go. Late to the game. All right. It's too hot in here. These guys are just busting my chops like crazy, and it's we gotta turn it back on. Ooh. We'll ready, be back. Ready, right, ready, right, ready. right. Ready? Everybody. Okay. We'll be back. We're gonna fire this thing up and see if it if it runs. Okay, so finally, we got everything kind of fixed. We got everything fixed well enough. We're gonna do some zero to sixty. So here we go. Ready? Ready. Are we ready? Are you ready? <laughs> 